So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do beef soup. Right. British cuisine, the only discipline of cooking on this planet where you can get away with boiling ground beef in water. Think I'm joking? Sure wish I was. Now we've all come to love Kay's cooking on this channel, but not all of us have come to love Kay's cooking on this channel. See what I did there? If you don't know what the channel Kay's cooking is, then you probably are very confused right now, but all you need to know is that there is a YouTube channel called Kay's Cooking. There, you're up to speed. And Kay's Cooking presents only the finest British meal like the one we're gonna be watching today, Beef Alphabet Pasta Soup My Way. Now, whenever Kay goes around throwing the words my way in her titles, I always get slightly worried because my way roughly translates to I'm gonna take about 15% of the ingredients from the original dish and make something completely different. And I think this video might be one of the best examples of that we've ever had. Whatever you're thinking Kay might be cooking today, just simplify it by like tenfold and then do it again. And then you might be sort of in the correct area. You'll see what I mean. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hey people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm doing a twist of different soups. Ah, uh, there it is. There's the problem. Makes much more sense now. It seems Kay twisted in the wrong direction. I'm going to show you. Oh, fish is really nice. What I'm going to do. And what you, if you want to know what the twist is, I am supposed to be doing beef soup and alphabet soup. And there is no way, I know you'd like me to, but there is no way I am going to sit up all night cutting alphabet letters out. Um... Um, what? Is somebody pranking me right now? Is alphabet soup like a real thing over in Britain? Is that something a family sits down and makes? I'm gonna completely ignore Kay's implication that you would have to cut all the pasta yourself because I looked it up and they just sell it. I thought alphabet soup only came in like Chef Boyardee cans. In my entire life, I have never heard of a single person making alphabet soup that wasn't from a can. My life has completely changed. In pasta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do beef soup, like I've been asked, and I'm also going to do an alphabet soup together. Um, what? what? I, I am so confused now. What do you mean you're going to do an alphabet soup? I thought the reason you're not doing a beef alphabet soup is because you don't want to cut out the letters. So what makes an alphabet soup different? I'm assuming it's the same pasta. I'm so lost. Right, so that's all submerged in water now i'm going to start on the pasta Yep, you saw it here first, folks. That is beef soup, which actually means beef boiled in water. No salt, no pepper, no nothing. Just, just beef water. Just the way mama used to make. I'm only going to put out when it does, when, it, when it's boiled, it does, uh, look, that's A and that's B. <laughs> Now, <laughs> well, I really wish I could have heard that joke because apparently it was a really good one. Did anybody at all catch what she just said? Please, I'm dying to know. Some water in it. And I'm going to put them on to boil. Yeah, and that's the right one. Which one? No, that's the, yeah, that's the right one. Never know which ring it is. So them two, me, me, isn't there? Mm, nah. Mince will take an hour to boil and the pasta will take eight, no, it said six minutes to to boil. Alright, so we are preparing the main proponents of the dish and we have yet to see even salt. I mean, I know I joke about British cuisine a lot, but come on. Ground beef boiled in a pot of seasonless water and pasta cooked without salt? It's just too easy, guys. Right, as you can see, it's starting to... Okay, well, that, that looked fun. Quite delicious, even. I've changed my mind. I would like two bowls, please. Uh, what I'm gonna do is... I'm going to put, I'm going to slice some, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to slice, I'm slicing some carrots into the mincemeat, but yes, I'm just slicing some carrots, it's, it's optional what you use, you can use 
Carrots, peas, beans, green beans, whichever you want to use. Yes, everything including flavor is 100% optional. Matter of fact, sometimes I don't even add the beef, I just boil the water, then down it. It's all natural, baby. The other time was my mate. Well, you have mates. Oh, bless you, love. Oh my god, somebody get the fire extinguisher. Lee just got burnt to death. That was not even like a joke. That was like a genuinely sincere reaction from his mother. Oh, you have a friend? News to me. Now I'm going to put some gravy granules in. I don't know how many. I'm just going to put quite a few in. You can use any gravy granules. It doesn't have to be expensive, it can be as cheap as chips as they call it. I'm sorry, I can use any gravy granules I want. I think the first step is knowing what a gravy granule is. That sounds horrible. That sounds like a brand of dog food. What is a gravy granule? Gravy is not something that I would attribute having granules. Not any gravy I would want. Is this just a big prank channel for Americans? Because I really don't think gravy granules exist. Right, now I am... That's, That's my phone. I am going to now put an oxo in. Uh, you don't have to put an oxo in. All right, look, no, no. I put up with alphabet soup, I put up with gravy granules. You're not even saying a word now, okay? What? A noxoy? Just making up words now? You think it's funny to make an American look stupid? I don't like this. This is sticking to the bottom of my pan. Oh, look at it all. It's all got gravy going in. It's not, it's not separated and it's just... Oh. Don't mind me throwing it all on my cooker. Somehow the more she adds to this, you know, the more seasonings she adds to beef and water, it starts to look less appetizing. I think at this point I would just prefer the beef and water. I mean, seriously, what is going on? And I'm going to put it in dishes. That pan is really heavy. Wait, well, Tina, see, I've got bad on, haven't I? And as you can see, I'm giving some to the... I don't know what you can see, I've got the dog's dish out as well. Now I'm going to pour the alphabet pasta soup on <laughs> Alphabet pasta beef. No, it's as the, as the beef soup, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm really confused as to how this even kind of classifies as alphabet soup. I mean, from her explanation and from my googling, it seems like alphabet soup is just a soup with pasta that's shaped like letters. She made it very clear that she wasn't intending on making alphabet soup because she didn't want to make the letters, so why is she calling this alphabet soup? Is there like a certain ingredient that makes alphabet soup like specifically alphabet soup or is it just the letters? Because if it's just the letters, I don't get this. This is the end product of alphabet soup, pasta soup, and beef soup. And my son's going to do his famous taste test. I'm not picking it up because it is where it's hot. But it's just come out in the pan. Yeah, so I'm just going to... It's... I, yeah, I can't explain it, but it's nice. It's just nice. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's garbage. Yeah, it's nice. It is really nice. Thumbs up. You know, I would argue this because, once again, this is unseasoned boiled beef pasta, but I don't know what gravy granules are, and I still don't even think that a nox soy or a nox, and whatever she said is even a real word. So, I don't know. This might have turned delicious from those two ingredients. I, I really don't have a leg to stand on. Well, what do you guys think? Would you eat this beef alphabet pasta? Personally, I might do it just to find out whatever she put into this. Seriously, if you know what she's saying, please tell me, because I genuinely genuinely have no idea. I've googled like 10 variations of what I think I'm hearing and nothing is coming up, so uh, I am very curious. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.